inside the e power transaxle so as you guys can see motor generator number one goes exactly right here to this pin so once the motor generator number one it's directly connected remember to the internal combustion engine right so the internal combustion engine is this over here so what happens if the internal combustion engine spins this is literally happy to this counter gear okay to change the gear ratio spins motor generator number one but then jose what about driving the vehicle who moves the differential well let's take a quick look this is the differential right that goes the axle but is there by chance any mechanical connection between motor generator number two which is exactly me a second this one this is motor generator number two is there even a connection between this and the internal combustion engine not if the vehicle move has nothing to do with the internal combustion engine or motor generator number one mechanically this is exactly what makes so special e-power transmission because once again the the internal combustion engine is only used to power up the motor generator number one to produce electricity since that electricity is inverted back to dc and together with the high voltage battery that in this case it uses as a big capacitor both of them are producing a lot of power to send directly to motor generator number two and finally look we can drive the vehicle very easily with no cvt absolutely no gear ratio nothing it's just a direct drive and finally look motor generator number two which is just this little pin that goes let me show you the only way to find this out is i have to show you the motor generator please consider to subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this one for generator number two this is the one that drives the vehicle look and that should be it this is the only way no cvt no nothing this is what we call direct drive let me take this out again nissan e-power is a direct drive transmission motor generator number two like this counter gear parking ring gear here we go give me a second let me just put it on its position all right now look what if i put activate this little pin and put it on park look the vehicle in move now mechanically this little motor activates the pin and releases the motor generator number two to freely move the vehicle via this differential there is no filtering there is no oil pump nothing everything is just by the very movement of the gears in order to lubricate or auto lubricate absolutely all the gears inside the e-power transaxle remember this is the one for motor generator number one as you can see if i spin motor generator number one the only reaction that causes this it's to move the internal combustion engine so let's do a quick overview of the e-power transaxle motor generator starts the internal combustion engine then the internal combustion engine fits with mechanical power now in this case a generator to produce electricity and together with the high voltage battery which in this case is used as a capacitor both are sending full power to motor generator number two and finally to drive the vehicle with electrical power and the electrical efficiency usually the batteries are not the same size as an electric vehicle but it has a lot of power to be used as a capacitor together with a generator that is always connected so nissan e power is it an electric vehicle with a range extender the answer is no the nissan e power is a hybrid vehicle because it uses a combination between internal combustion engine which is mechanical technology and the motor generator to both produce in this case electrical power to fit motor generator number two finally to drive the vehicle so yes whether you like it or not e power technology is a hybrid technology as well so if you want to learn more stick around for more tips
Nissan e-Power System.